everybody. Today the bookworms are going to be reading Snow White and the Seven Dwarves by Haley Vodders. A long time ago, in a place not too far from here, there lived a beautiful little girl whose father was a king. Everyone called the girl Snow White because her skin was so fair, just like her mother's. Snow White's mother had died when she was just a baby, and so for many years the whole community helped raise Snow White. One day, Snow White's father married a woman who did not love Snow White. She was quite mean and very vain. Every day, the new queen would look in her hand mirror and say, Mirror, mirror in my hand, am I the prettiest lady in this land? For years, the mirror would simply say, Yep. But then one day, the mirror said, Nope. You see, Snow White had grown from a little girl to a lady. This was all the mare had been waiting for. Snow White was always the prettiest in the land. Her beauty far surpassed the queen's, for Snow White was beautiful both inside and out. This made the queen furious, and she banished Snow White to the forest. Snow White loved everyone, so she made lots of friends in the forest and soon learned to be quite happy there. Her closest friends were seven wonderful dwarves. One day, the dwarves asked her to join their loving household. This was not quite what the queen had in mind when she had banished Snow White. The queen kept asking her mirror if she was the prettiest lady in the land, but the mirror just kept saying nope. This made the queen so angry that she decided to get rid of Snow White for good. The queen dressed up in a disguise and went into the forest to find Snow White. When she did, she fed her black magic apple that made Snow White choke. Snow White fell to the ground, and the queen hurried back to the castle to speak with her mirror once again. What the queen did not realize was just how many friends Snow White had made in the forest. The forest animals ran to find the dwarf so they could help Snow White. With one quick slap on the back from one of the dwarves, the black magic apple was knocked free. Snow White immediately sat up and felt much better. Snow White marched straight to the castle and told her father what happened. She and the king promptly removed the queen from the castle and banished her to the forest. Stuck living in the forest and without her magic mirror, the queen grew a little less vain and a little less mean every day. She eventually became quite lovely, inside and out. So much so, the seven dwarves invited her to live in their live loving household. She is still there to this day. The End that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. Until next time, bye!